it's Miss Gail, and I'm back for our last wrap-up session on kindness. So over the last few weeks, we've talked about how to make kindness a lifestyle. We talked about kindness in actions, kindness using your words, and kindness in our attitude. And we do that by shine, showing kindness in all those ways, okay? We came from Colossians 3 and 12. It says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Have you guys ever went to put on your clothes or your parents went to put on your clothes and you get in your shirt and your shirt gets stuck on you and you just can't wiggle it, you can't get out of it, you can't turn, you're just stuck inside that item of clothing. Well, that's what God wants us to do with kindness. He wants us to clothe ourselves in kindness. He wants it to be so tight on us that we can't wiggle out of it. We can't get out of it. No matter what we do, we can't help but show kindness, right? So every single day, you're going to be faced with a choice. Be kind or be unkind. Your words your actions, your attitude. These are all things that you'll have to choose kindness in, okay? Kindness will not always be the easiest choice. In fact, sometimes kindness will be the hardest choice you ever have to make. But remember, it's always the right choice. So before we close, I wanna tell you one more thing about kindness. The more you're kind, the easier it is to be kind. The more kindness you show to others, the easier it is for them to be kind to someone else. Remember what I said last time, kindness is contagious, okay? So I'm gonna do a short demonstration. So we have four cups here, right? The one that's the fullest, that cup is going to represent you okay um so remember if you're the kindness you're full of kindness right you are going to pour your kindness into someone else right and then what happens those who may not have had much kindness because you poured kindness or showed kindness to them, they're then going to pour that kindness into someone else, right? And then that person will meet someone else and pour the kindness that they received into someone else, okay? So then everyone has been given and shown kindness, right? And we want kindness to be contagious. We want kindness to be a ripple effect, right? So just remember, moving forward, that always remember to show someone else kindness. See, all of our cups ended up having water or kindness in them because someone showed them kindness, okay? If you want to overflow with kindness, start acting in kindness towards others. And it won't be long until you're so full of kindness that you just can't contain it. Okay? Enjoy the rest of your day. Miss Gail loves you. Miss Gail can't wait to see you guys again. And remember, have an attitude of kindness. Show kindness through actions and show kindness through words. And when you do all of that, kindness will then become a lifestyle. See you guys later. Bye.